70 watts. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another Valley Forge. Today we're talking about 70 watt diode laser. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the year that we were very likely to see a 100 watt diode laser this year. Now, technically, we are. This 70 watt diode laser is technically 100 watts when you think about versus CO2 laser. In fact, it says it's uh, equivalent to 120 watt CO2 laser, but I'll, I'll say 100 because you, when you have a 100 watt CO2 laser, you're going to run it at around 70% or you're going to burn out that laser tube pretty quick. So almost everyone has their power set to around 70%. So this is uh, technically a 100 watt laser. And anybody who's used a 100 watt diode laser knows you can do some stuff. I mean, we can zip through some half inch, I'm sure. Uh, quarter inch, easy. Uh, but yeah, if you want to work with half inch stuff, this is going to be it. Now, are you going to go that incredibly faster? Well, maybe. The two lasers we're looking at here, both from Atomstack. One is the IKEA K1, which you can get here with this case and a camera. And uh, you can see they have the upgraded power supply here. Uh, and it's going to be your typical around 400, 450 millimeter type of thing. And, uh, you know, I had the Acer that was like this. I had no trouble with mine. Now, Acer did some at some point just disappear when it came to customer service. So I quit recommending them. But it doesn't mean I had trouble with my laser. I think it was amazing. My, I had the 36 watt. Absolutely loved it. It did have a lot of things on it that I didn't use, and this has uh, some of those things too, but overall, the performance was fantastic. No, it's not as refined and polished as my uh, Rolly Lasermatic. I mean, not even close, but it did have some features this one doesn't have. You know, when I wasn't cutting, the air, the air turned off. It was cool. It was a quiet machine, which I really loved. But let's get back into the 70 watt. So this would be around the same machine, uh, except for Atomstack, which, hey, maybe their customer service isn't great, but it's certainly way better than Acer. And uh, to be for $2,300 to get a case and a 70 watt diode laser, it's insane. And this thing is really fast, 900 millimeters per second. I can tell you, I ran my 36 watt at this speeds, and it worked fine. That's one thing. If you're going to be able to have that much power and you want to do your work faster because you have that much power, you're going to be able to need the speed to do that. And that's something the IKEA has that the Atomstack doesn't. The Atomstack A70, while its speed is a little less, I mean, you're talking to like 20,000 millimeters per minute, it, you can get a much bigger working area. I mean, I guess with the uh, IKEA, you could get the extended, but not with the case, right? And that's one of the things you're going to have to deal with if you look at the Atom stack is you're going to have to build your own enclosure for sure. The extra large working area, 800 by 850, you could get it straight away. You don't have to buy the extension. It's done. And with a pretty reasonable price, uh, you know, $2,100. That's really not bad with air. Now that is supposed to be a, you know, uh, early board price and it doesn't come out till March. And I can't really tell you this is a good machine. You know, I can't tell you either one's a good machine. Now this one does have the switching technology. So you can switch it down to a 35 watt laser and get a smaller spot size. So that may make it the better laser. This one is just a pure 70 watt, so you're going to have a larger spot size. Uh, so if you're going to do a lot of engraving, yeah, maybe it's not a good idea, but you don't need to get the 70 watt laser to, to do a lot of engraving. So they're both very interesting, and I would look into each one of them. Uh, let's go into some of the more, you know, so the details here. Optical power can reach 70 to 77 watts. That is pretty amazing. You are going to be able to do some work. I, 
I totally knew this was happening, but I still can't believe it. Now, I got to say, for most people out there, I think the 20 to 40 watts is still going to be great. You got to think about what are you going to use it for? You know, they have some videos here. In fact, I will show. Let's just watch the video and I'll show you. I mean, this is this this year is going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. We are going to see. I I want to caution because you know I haven't used this machine yet, so I can't tell you that it's good either one, right? I could just tell you that the future is here, and whether or not this one is good, they will come out one that is good. Now, it looks like it's good. And again, I really love how much space you get. That is just unbelievable, the things that you would be able to make. It's it's not even in my imagination yet because I haven't, you know, even though I've used really large 100, 150 watt lasers, it's always been at a place that wasn't mine. Can you imagine having this in your house where you wake up one day and you're like, oh, you know, I could use a new cabinet. And boom, you don't have to use a, a, a table saw or something. You could just use a laser, which is so much cleaner and more precise. I literally could build the whole thing here inside my, my room. <laughs> it's, yeah, it brings a big smile to my face. And uh, I am really happy. I knew it was coming, but I'd say by Christmas, we're going to see a lot more and we're going to see the prices come way down. And uh, I would love to get my hands on some of these and test them out and actually tell you, uh, you know, whether they are as good as they look.
simultaneously launched all aluminum alloy enclosure. Upgrades the machine to class 1 laser product, large visual window, LED lighting. A port is available to an air purifier. Powerful smoke exhaust. Capacity supports your efficient creation. World first launching K1 Pro Max 70 Watt. World's first 70 Watt Blue Laser Engraver. Parting from high power, tens of functions, you have all you want. 70 Watt Laser. Upgraded second generation cost packaging technology. Each laser source is smaller delivering higher power. Multi-mirror coupling technology adopted. Higher laser power, smaller laser spot. Easily cutting through 28mm polonia board. Acrylic, etc. with only one pass. Switchable dual power brings carving with skill and ease. Satisfy all your needs for creativity. Cross-positioning system locates the position to engrave precisely. One-click automatic focusing frees your hands. Afraid of unexpected power outage in the middle of large project? Run the resume engraving upon power failure recovery. Safeguard your creation. Machine reboots and recognizes where. It interrupted. Complete the remaining work. Integrated Flame Detection System. Machine stops when the material produces flame. High Power Laser. Cutting Wood. Clean Cross-Section and Low Carbonation Rate. Linear Guide Rail and Reinforced Shaft ensure perfect engraving. Precision even with up to 48,000 mm per minute scanning speed. Scanning speed strong compatibility, various upgraded accessories hit more creative scenes. This is K1 Pro Max 70 Watt Combo, achieving the impossible. And I will certainly keep you posted on this. And uh, I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.